So Carl, are you going to tell us a little bit about what you're doing here? Yes, we're um, going to solo put up a 32 foot mast on the beeline for everybody. So I've done it once before, but um, there's not too much wind today, so we should be pretty good with it. So what we've done is we've put the, um, the mast up and we're going to um, I put on a ladder here to get the angle right and then uh, we hook it to the base and use the Harbour Freight uh, $49 winch and then we can just uh, use a remote control and then just walk up and do it yourself so, so it's a little bit of a hassle but it's doable so so it's a self-stepper for $49? Yes, that's what I'm hoping. This is that's the uh, sure. Carl Oliver self-stepper special. One trap handle? Yes, there we go. Yeah. We yeah. use the trap handle to, uh, the trap line to pull it up. And then uh, that way um, the side stays are all free. So. I should really put it in. Positive point of connection. Yeah, you know what? I'll get another um, uh, beater or something put behind it. Yeah, a um, You've got to go into the magic yeah, nakra. We've got, go, got to go into the magic. Will, will, will this have the right parts? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You're sure, because it yeah. says nakra on it. It doesn't yeah. say beeline lion eyes. Oh, no. But it's, um, I think we've got it all down here. So. This is actually a birthday present from um, Bob. Bob's not with us anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, this one might not work either. More room. So with the concentration. Yes. Okay. okay. Positive connection. Okay, we're good to go here. That's All it. Right, we'll so set up the winch. And then, so okay, and that's the um, remote control that came with the winch. So um, it's all—it's got a delay on it, so you've got to be real careful. It's got about a second and a half. Now, when I fabricated this, there's a pins that go through here, and you can just can come up and down to, what, to whatever boat you want. So, but I normally leave it where it is, and it seems to work okay. So. And that reminds me to put a, I've got to put a pin in there, so, or a screwdriver or something like oh, that. So. We've got our portable power unit here. Oh, hang on. I've got to turn it on and off. There's a little blue switch, a light that'll come on, and then we go out. All right, Carl, so uh, okay, tell us where we are here. Right. We're all ready to give it a go. So I'll, I'll put some dummy stays on it around the front of the boat, just uh, which I don't normally do, but um, for the purpose of the video, because uh, there's women and children. In the boat. So, um, this is all ready to go, so it's going to start going up. So. You ready to run? <laughs> Go, Stand there we go. There. Okay, so we've got this going again. And then from here, once it's standing up, it's actually uh, reasonably easy. But you could actually do with a third hand to do this stuff, but uh, we'll see how we go. I should just have some spectra or something like that and not worry about the uh, cords. So, but anyway, let's say, there we go, done. And then that's it, we just have to disconnect everything. And uh, I wouldn't do it on a too windy a day, but um, and if you've got a bad back, don't do it because it's uh, things could go wrong. But definitely the little side jacks help because uh, 
with a 32 foot mast that can go one way or another and then they just help just just to keep, keep it, it from where them. you want it so so now we're going to go sailing yeah. <laughs>